this episode is sponsored by Framebridge. Framebridge came at the perfect time because we have so many things we want to get framed because we go to every state sale imaginable and pick up posters, pictures, whatever. And Framebridge is coming in clutch. I'm actually not even using it for that. I'm using it for a giant picture of one of my cats. So I'm very excited to see what it's going to look like when it arrives. It truly was the easiest experience ever. I just uploaded a picture that I wanted, chose the frame, how big, and it's going to be here at my door. So I'm excited. See why Framebridge has been trusted to frame over 2 million pieces. Visit framebridge.com or a local Framebridge store to get started and custom frame just about anything. That's framebridge.com. Guys, I forgot my freaking iPad. I'm so annoyed. It was, char I left it charging. It's not the worst. Now now everyone just can yell at you for using your phone. I know. It's such, it's such a bummer because I was like so excited. I was like, oh, get to use my iPad. Well, good thing we have two episodes of Good Influences this week. I know, really put that iPad. Well, I so feel like can, we probably won't use it tomorrow. Yeah, because something, you know, something. A little secret. Uh, not really saying anything, but there is something happening tomorrow. Um, we are surprising <laughs> Mike with a guest. Yes, that he has no idea what we're doing. He has no idea. He if you're on the Patreon, don't you fucking dare tell yeah. Mike. Don't you fucking dare. Then we'll block you off the Patreon, you little fucks. We'll know. We'll know who it is. <laughs> we we're will not, know. We're not going to say who it is. Yes. Um, because... We can't have word getting around to everyone. No, we don't need the tabloid speaking. Yeah, so we are going to be surprising him with a guest. He thinks Joe is coming on, so he's probably like, "Oh, great, Joe." <laughs> <laughs> I know, which like and it, it like will make a little bit of sense because when I thought about it, I was like, "Well, we do kind of have this fun thing going on where Joe keeps saying good influence is breaking up, so like that could be a a thing." Yeah, but so. I don't think Joe wants to be on good influences. No, Joe doesn't like. I feel like he we had this that. whole fight. Yeah. Joe and I had this whole fight already because he, we asked him one time to do it. And then he's so like questioning, like, well, what are we going to talk about? Like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, I don't want to like talk about blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what? It's just like your podcast. Yeah. He's so selfish. He so only wants it for his podcast. Selfish. It's just like the boys. Literally. We haven't been able to get Jeff on Good Influences, but guess who was on Hoot and Half today? Jeff. I actually knew that already. Wow. T. I know. Because when I, Cause, okay. So yeah, when I got there last time, I don't think you got there yet. Oh, he yeah. was telling me about that. And he was like, he's being really flaky though. For, Cause we were originally yeah. going to have Jeff come on to replace Matt, but um, it'll be good. I think Matt will be happy with the replacement. Yeah. I think he might be a little jealous. He's going to be very jealous. I almost feel a little bad, but I know whatever. But I, I, think, think I think he'll be happy about it. Matt is someone who like when we, in futures past, in Past, you just passed in past Aaron is Shakespeare now he <laughs> he has been like I like these are my replacements like it can only be these he people said this person no oh okay he, like about like Brooke or someone he's like this is yeah. who I want to be my replacement because they have like these qualities whereas like we're all like I don't fucking care like if you have to replace me yeah someone. like pull out a hat so I do think that <laughs> he will be like and pick someone. very appreciative that we chose a guest that like he's gonna be jealous too yeah which I think is a good thing. If I was gone and I got a replacement, I would hope I'd be jealous. Yeah, but of like the person. Imagine if I booked Taylor Swift though. That would be like really mean. And it is to that caliber. <laughs> like it no, is. No, not really. <laughs> no, it's not. But it's it's not like um our friends or anything. It's not like no. in our zeitgeist really at all. Well, that was like big for me and Carly. We were like, we don't want to just keep recycling. Yeah, people. yeah, yeah. Yeah. No more fucking joe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like jeff would be fun because we genuinely haven't like seen jeff in so long no of course so i feel like that would be fun and obviously everyone thinks team we hate jeff so like it would be no i love jeff yeah me too so i'm in love with jeff oh okay <laughs> what's in this oh, also what is this ginger ale oh makes sense i'm having a little tummy issue i didn't I know if you like, peed on the way here <laughs> it's like we're uh, drinking it for no, your stomach no my pee or? is much darker than that <laughs> oh also like look at my botox yeah blues. you finally got one everyone congratulations being like, are you okay like is tj hitting you <laughs> does look like that i was gonna i've ask. never like gotten bruised before but it's funny because when she did it I, did we mention we were getting botox i don't know we did I it i don't remember i think we did i think we were like it's christmas this week we're getting botox yeah um it feels really weird in my head this time really i think it's just because i it's it hasn't been frozen in so long i know so now i'm like oh can't move at all are yours <laughs> is yours completely set no like look i still do that Mine doesn't do it at all. Yeah. But, but I was this like, way is pretty good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> see, when I raise my eyebrows, I look like a Disney villain because it's not set in yet. Ready? <gasps> oh, <gasps> it's pretty. It was it was way worse last time. I would say it's pretty set. Okay. Maybe we're or, all sorry, just not last walking time, around but... looking like Brittany Cartwright. <laughs> <laughs> no dead ass. Is what I thought when it was she like. was like, um, what did she ask me? Uh, like a 
brow, eyebrow lift. Yeah, I was like, no. Oh yeah, no, I don't no, want no, that no, either. Because no, no. anytime I've gotten it, I just look kind of crazy. And it's not the Botox. It's just oh. like, I don't, doesn't fit with me very well. I wonder why that one time my eyebrows are that weird thing in the- That was so weird. That We went to a different person. Yeah. But he's also like well known and stuff. Yeah. But he also wasn't wearing shoes. <laughs> so <laughs> That's true. Maybe I got a virus in my face. I don't know. Well, you also did like numbing stuff that time. I wonder if like that had anything to uh, do with it. It was also just like, like Botox, Botox. So yeah. maybe it, it was that. Also true. I don't know. Um, yeah. Just having a little ginger ale. I'm feeling a little nauseous a today. Rough, we are morning. recording- um, a little bit later today because I woke up feeling nauseous. Sometimes when I get too backed up, mm. when I'm having my girly stomach problems, um, that happens. But I also do think I might be like day two hungover. Oh my God. <laughs> day two? Yeah. Oh. Like- I wasn't really that hungover yesterday, but I think it's because I was still drunk for most of the day. <laughs> Did you drink a ton? Yeah. Like what's the vibe Girl, here? I was puking on <gasps> cold water canyon. Oh my God. <laughs> Girl, what, what did you do? Um, Went to El Coyote. So like that's always- Oh yeah, I saw it and I was like- Cause for um, concern. Everyone I know is there. It was so crazy. Well- That's cool. Me and TJ- No, and everyone Cheryl hates me. Had made plans. I'm making this by myself. Can I- Oh yeah, yeah. Every oh. nobody likes me. It's true. And everyone at that restaurant was talking shit about me. I can I already know. Oh my god, you should have heard the table. I can't. Don't talk about it. <laughs> okay, my god. We were so I, me, TJ, and Cheryl like were together a couple nights prior, and we were like, we got to do stuff this weekend because like no one's gonna be in LA because of Coachella. Yeah. And we wanted of to it do too. like a, yeah, we wanted to do like a fun thing where we went to like Highland Park and like went to these bars that we like, but it was so rainy and gloomy that we were like, ugh, it's not the vibe. So we we're like, let's go to El Coyote. Um, and then TJ is on like a big Chapel Roan kick and she has a song called Pink Pony Club and it's based it's like- Chapel? Yeah. Oh my God. This whole time I've been saying Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Chappelle Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not- oh. Is she at Coachella? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So TJ, we watched the set on Friday and then he like loves that song and it's loosely based off of the Abbey, like her going to the Abbey oh, okay. and like whatever, the vibe. So then we were like, Can we'll go to El Coyote and then go to the Abbey, aka the Pink Pony Club. Oh God, did you run into shorts and Sandoval? <laughs> no, because then we decided against it because we were like, we don't want to get our phones stolen. We don't want to get yeah, drugged. That's like a whole thing right now. And especially at the Abbey. And trafficked. So there was like three, if yeah, it was only that'd like- That'd be kind of a crazy weekend. If it was only like drugged. <laughs> if I'd only like, you had done okay, that, you'd have such a crazy story for me today. I'll dabble. <laughs> well, I basically got kidnapped by myself. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> because I drank too much. Oh, yeah. And yeah, became a trapped. different person. Yeah, you were trapped. Um, But yeah, so then we made plans. And then TJ, he was tech talking in like our Bravo group chat and was like, we're going here tonight, like in the group chat. And then all of them were like, oh yeah, we'll come. <laughs> so then when we were on our way to- El Coyote, I checked to see how far away Cheryl was because we were running a little bit late. And when I zoomed in, Danny oh. was there and I texted, I was like, maybe she's just like driving. But then I texted her, I was like, are you at El Coyote? And she was like, yes. So then like I ran into her and she was with friends there. And then after like they had their friend thing, they came over and like sat with us. But at that point we were done with dinner. Yeah. But um, so it was just like a big- What if it like Mike was there in another table and like I was there at a table? I know. <laughs> Would you well, like I wouldn't know. I'd know if Mike was there because I have his true. location, but I do not have yours. Like if I didn't check the location, I would have never known Danny was there. Yeah, and she probably could have eaten peacefully. Yeah, well, <laughs> she did. <laughs> Wait, I will say having Mike's location will be so good for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna like trick him and be like, hey, do you mind getting there like 10 minutes early? I have to talk to you about something and I don't have time like after the podcast. Yeah. Good call. And I feel like he'll be like, okay. Definitely. He doesn't have like a stupid ass call or something. I know I'm stressed about Mike. Sorry to go back to this. It's, we're like surprising him. So there's, I always get so uncomfortable with surprises. No, I love okay. the results. Yeah. But the setup is so hard for me as a girly with anxiety. I don't know. I'm just like, oh. we're also a little nervous that he might like panic. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think he will. I don't think I know. he will. I know, I know, I know, I know. We'll see. Well, anyway, sorry. Continue with your, um, your drunky story. But oh yeah. So then I had two margaritas at El Coyote, which really turned out to be four margaritas. Oh, if you know the, the hack. Did you and open then your legs? TJ or, yeah. And then TJ ordered tequila shots. <gasps> and at that point, I'm like, good. I would be good for the rest of the night. If I was doing that on Saturday, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God. Well, and then we went to the rainbow room. 
Why does that sound familiar? It's like right on um, Sunset Boulevard. It's like an old like staple bar where like all the old rock stars would go. I feel like I've definitely been there. Yeah, so we, uh, it's crazy. We went there. By the way, I never see people I know out <laughs> ever. Like I go to dinner. I never see anyone I know. I'll see a celebrity before I see yeah, somebody yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and we walk into the rainbow room. There's like maybe 20 people in the bar area. It's pretty big. We know half of them. They were like celebrating a, someone's birthday. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Literally like, everyone what? you know. <laughs> <gasps> Who's calling you? Wait, it could be either the camera or my doctor. Oh my God, please answer. I hope it's the camera. Hello? Yes. It's the freaking doctor. Yes, I will be there. Thank you. Bye. Well, Sorry. <laughs> I was hoping it was a camera. Oh, by the way, I do want to say, I'm really sorry about last week. I have two more batteries fully charged slay, slay, for this mama. damn camera. Also, um, Nolan set this up a little bit different, so I hope that it's not blurry. This camera, <laughs> my nightmare. When we do vlogs or whatever, it's fine. But yeah. anyways. Well, I brought two cameras in my G7X. I got a call the other day that that one is done. So oh. I can pick that up tomorrow too. Should we do that one instead? Exciting. <laughs> yeah, our very first one camera. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't. We had a way worse one oh, that literally had... shot on like 300. Wasn't it like a cyber shot? Yeah. It was from like It was a Canon cyber shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Insane. It's like what people buy, are buying now to take photos and post them on Instagram. It's crazy. Well, because when I wanted to get my G7X fixed that I've literally had for like, forever yeah all of the like instagram girlies are buying them because it has like a really good flash in the way that the it the photo comes out but so like i use it for like content <laughs> like and i have and so i was like, like okay months. like i'm just gonna get a new one they are fully back ordered uh, of course and that is why you check tiktok shop <laughs> you may have better luck there yeah but so then i was like i'm just gonna pay to get this fixed because i'll never get a new one yeah so G7Xs are also out. Fully on wow. back order. And they have been for like six months. I kind of get that. Yeah. I feel like they probably take really good photos. No, they do. They take amazing it's photos. It's just like funny because it's the traditional like first vlog camera. Yeah. Like everyone You gets. could buy it in like a pack. It's like the vlog Oh my vlog God, on pack. Amazon, I think. It was like that camera, a tripod. Was that our person? Did he just? Uh, yeah. Is there a problem? I'm scared. There is, yeah. There's a problem. He wrote something, but then he said, I can't be there till 12, 15 ish. Oh no. Can we change it? The time? Yeah. It'd have to be, I, I could look after this. Oh boy. And everything. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Joe, Joe's Kendrick, really coming Joe's on. really coming on. Let okay, so you go to Rainbow Room. You know everybody. You know a bunch of people. And then I like, when I woke up yesterday, I was like, I remembered most of the night from what I thought. Like I even remember getting sick. Well, cause I was pretty drunk, but then also driving through cold water in the back seat. I was like, not driving. Oh no, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. Oh, um, in the back. In the back seat. Um, and I get really car sick. So those did not mix well together, but I was like, you need to pull the car over. And then I just did a little pukey <laughs> and went on my merry way. I'm sure it happens multiple times on Laurel Canyon. Or, or cold, cold water, water. Well, yeah. both canyons really all the canyons all the canyons are getting puked on but then the next morning i remember having like one vodka and then i remember ordering a lemon drop shot obviously yeah obviously and then i was like geez like i feel a little bit drunk still <laughs> and i don't really remember leaving like the end gets a little blurry yeah um but then I was on FaceTime with Danny and she told me that she was like, oh, you don't remember like this guy hanging over you all night? Like blah, 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 blah. And he's gay. Oh. Um, I was like, well, because at first I was like, what? Yeah, like what did I do? <laughs> and I was like, guys, certainly don't. <laughs> um, but she was like, yeah, like you did two vodka shots with him. <gasps> and I was like, okay, yeah, oh, no, I, I have zero recollection of that, but that explains quite literally oh, everything. Oh my God. So yeah, I had a lot of drinks. <laughs> oh my God. I would be literally not well today. Yeah, I wasn't like... Oh, the hangover wasn't that bad. Maybe your body was so in shock yesterday that it was like, we'll wait till tomorrow. You know, genuinely, we'll I wait. think that maybe it was just like, you're still drunk. Are you like still nauseous or no? Um, I feel a little nauseous, but I, that is definitely because like I need to go to the bathroom yeah. and that happens to me. But I do have like a headache that's like a hangover headache. Ugh, terrible. So I think it's just like a mix of the two. Yeah. And not feeling great. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're we with made us. It. I'm so I glad. know this morning I was like, oh my God, like I don't even know if I would have been able to speak oh my god i was just like is it one of those things where like you open your mouth and you're like i might throw up if i open my mouth yeah and like, ever, i'm a suppressor like i yeah. will do anything to not get sick yeah um 
I probably could. I think there are multiple times where I was like, <laughs> and I was like, uh oh, That's hold it down. I will make myself at that I point. I can't. I'm just like, it all feel better. I know. But I, then I'll be like, well, what is this from? And then I'll get all paranoid. Oh, we've got a movie list. Yeah. Well, it's not mine, obviously. <laughs> oh, Big Fish. Have you ever seen that? I think I have, actually. I feel like you probably have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much my weekend. Did I do anything on front? No, I didn't. We watched Coachella. Oh yeah. I was going to say emo night, but that was definitely last weekend. <laughs> I know. Hello. It was, just, yeah, it was just like rainy and poopy. So rainy, so poopy. I, I literally didn't do anything, but I did binge uh, Married at First Sight, which is still such a crazy concept of a show. Cause there was a new, well, the season came out like last year, but it's finally on like Discovery Plus. Oh, so I'm yeah. just watching it and I just, oh, I was going to ask you. Okay. So there's a, these people uh, got married, right? And the guy, he's um, he's probably like six foot. He's a redhead. He has like a beard, lo- like shaggy, like red hair or whatever. And the girl is like beautiful. She's like maybe like a little thick, but she's like very, she's like abs. Like she's, you know, looks good, whatever. And so they were talking about them being matched together on their honeymoon and they get along really well and everything. And she said, normally I don't go guy, go for guys who are like redheads or whatever. Like I'm just like, they're not my type. Yeah. But, um, but it's, so it's like interesting. They put me with a redhead and like, I do like you and stuff. And he got offended by that, mm-hmm. which is like fair. I mm-hmm. feel, I mean, I don't know. You're like criticizing someone's like looks. Yeah. And then they did a group thing later and they were all talking about like their process and like how everyone's doing and like, you know, how everyone's getting along. And he was like, Normally I'm not attracted. I'm mostly usually attracted to slender body. You like have slender. told me this before. I have? A hundred percent we've had this conversation. Really? I was like, this seems so familiar. Maybe yes. because I did see this episode at Emma's like a year ago. It had to have been. Well, that. of course I don't remember telling because then you. Because he started getting in trouble, right? Like everyone was I, mad at him. I don't know. I mean, I don't remember, but I'm just like, every yeah, everyone's pissed off at him and like yeah. disgusted, which I'm like, yes, of course. I don't think you should say that, but I don't think you should say either one. No. People are very mad. Like, <laughs> and she's like, I can't help. She's like, you don't know how much I work out. Like, cause he's like, I normally go for athletic well, that's the way and he slender. Was born. Huh? That's the way he was born. Yeah. So he can't, well, he I know. can't change it. I was just like, ah, cause I was it's struggling a little with bit it. Of a double standard. But, yes. Cause I was like, obviously like, you can't change what color your hair. I mean, you could change your color of your hair, but like you can change your hair. And you, you can, can change, change your clothes. clothes, and you can go on Ozempic if you want. <laughs> yeah. No, but this girl's like beautiful and literally has abs. I'm like, what are you yeah. talking about? He's probably just obviously doing He's like it projecting. to get back at her. I think so. Ugh, I hate that. But yeah. he doesn't like seem like an asshole, so it's so confusing. Well, he probably just got hurt and then was like, I'm going to hurt her back. Yeah. I don't think he even meant it though. I think he was just like, no, I'm just saying like I genuinely, genuinely like my type is usually like athletic <laughs> like i would literally jump off a bridge i'd be like okay well brb you gotta I do a like, thousand well, spots i get it we're not each other's types because i don't fucking like redheads yeah <laughs> you with your red hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah well like i like if i were her i'd just be like okay well we're not a match yeah i'd be like well we have to divorce now but the thing is i think they have to Wait, stay they're married yes it's married at first sight so they're legally married which is insane because i did not believe that at Wait, first and then i looked how it up. does it work okay so it's they basically see each other and then i get betrothed immediately the first time they make eye contact it's her walking down the aisle and they just pick random people it's the match matchmakers i think people audition or people send in their stuff and then Got there's it. matchmakers who are kind of like their couples ther- therapist throughout the show by the way they have the easiest fucking job i've ever seen they literally show up like <laughs> one time every episode doing a little confessional thing the, the, therapist? the therapist and so like i'm sure that's all filmed once they're wrapped and then like Every once every three to four episodes, they come in and like talk to the couples. I'm like, you guys have it so huh. damn easy. They're probably not even licensed. I think they are licensed therapists, <sighs> but I don't know. I just love that show. Anything Discovery Plus, give me all of it. But um, so you watched the whole thing? No, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched like a good amount of it so far. But I just like I get I, it's just, like Love Is Blind. Like I get so into it, and I'm like, what's gonna happen at the end? Totally. Because at the end, they have to decide if they're gonna stay married or get divorced oh. instead of like Love Is Blind, get married, yeah, or leave the altar. But I think you have. To, I think there's something with them staying on the show um, to fulfill their contract or something. So maybe if maybe even if they don't want to be together, like the redhead and the athletic girl, if they even want to call it quits, I don't know if they can. I mean, they probably can, but they probably won't make. That's the amount of money. crazy. Yeah. I agree. I like, what do people do that for? Do what? Like you're obviously, like, it's just so stupid. All these shows, I love them. 
Oh, I know. Like, I, if I lived in Nebraska, I'd probably do it. Like the Golden <laughs> Bachelor, there. they just got divorced. I obviously, know. it just goes to show the oldies are just was like a us. Boy, oh really? Yeah. What was he doing? It all this stuff came out that was like, oh, he had actually like had a girlfriend after his wife died, or like while his wife was alive, oh. and like all of these things, and that's when I stopped watching. Oh my god, rude. Where? Pod. I saw something about. Yeah, they like had a sad message to give. <laughs> and then it was and like, I guess like half of the reason was like they were living in separate states. Uh, um, like they're old. How are you just supposed to be like, oh, bye to one of your families? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Um, so I get like the separate living. But then I guess he wanted her to quit her job and she like didn't want to. So like that was part of the reason. But also like. It's just, it's just so sad. They're so old. Yeah, but this goes to show. Doesn't matter what age you are. The shows probably still won't work for yeah. you. <laughs> so, so tea. Are they still going to do it? Do you know? Have they like said anything? I have no idea. Is she going to be the next golden bachelorette? I don't know how it works. Usually on like The Bachelor, it kind of works. Yeah, like they that. were like, divorce him and we'll let you be the... I hope not. Why? I would prefer a different one of the women. Usually, I think usually for The Bachelor slash Bachelorette, it's usually the runner up that gets yeah, the... I'm good with that. Or somebody who like truly got effed over on the show or like something crazy happened. I liked the runner up. The last episode I like half watched because I was just like, I- The proposal I episode? Care. Yeah. <laughs> it just got <laughs> like too like. sad. And then all of these oh. things started coming out about him being a fuck boy. And I was like, oh, this uh, is so unbelievable now. Yeah. And I just am not like a bachelor head. I know. So it was like, okay. I'm not either until I am. I got it. That's fair. I got it. Got it. Um. But yeah, that, what, anything else for your weekend? Um, Just chill. I don't know. I don't think so. Did some Pilates. <sighs> Literally nothing. I washed my hair for the first time in like a week. It was crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I already need to wash it again though because it's thin. <laughs> that's a really long time for you, I feel. It is. It's because I've been using dry shampoo that's like a powder mm. form. You like, it's not aerosol. It's just like powder. Oh. And for some reason it seeps into my hair way easier. You should get that hairbrush that I keep seeing on the internet. Which one? I forget what it's called, but it's like $150. What the fuck? But like literally Does once you buy do one, a blowout? they like last forever. And the whole purpose of it is like, you're supposed to brush your hair like every night for 10 minutes. And the brush like redistributes the oils in your hair oh. so that it doesn't, it like takes the grease out of your hair. Oh, what the fuck? It's $150. Something like that. Oh my God. I forgot All right, it's I'll look called. Into it. Let me, ugh, hairbrush. People are probably screaming. Oh, yelling. Hairbrush, red. Just. Can you actually move over a little towards me? Just so you're not uh, on the I edge. Just, because you, I'm, don't, you smell bad. Because I'm scared that. I'm not the one puking all morning. This one is $275. <gasps> Mason Pearson. For a brush. Oh, you can get a little one. That's I'll just wash 74. my hair. I'll just wash my hair. Yeah, but you should get one and see. I mean, I can. It's I a write off. It. Yeah. You can <laughs> it's an do experiment. like an experiment. <laughs> yeah. They're if like, any of you have one, let me know if it helps. I have, I don't have thin hair. I have fine hair. Okay. <laughs> and it gets extremely greasy pretty quickly, especially in the front. Yeah. You should okay, get I'm one. I'm not going to say extremely greasy. I want to say I'm dripping grease, but it's well, just like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like that, but you can tell. Like I'll see old videos of us and I'm like, God, why didn't I just wash my hair that day? <laughs> Like, huh. it's weird because I feel like I never notice. Yeah, but it's, you notice things on yourself. Totally. Um, but yeah, you should get one. Okay. I'll well, send will you, you buy it for me. <laughs> they have like a little, they have smaller. This one is like a really big one, but I think you can get like this little one. Who's brushing their hair for 10 minutes a night? People who don't want to have to wash it. That is crazy. Really My arm, I'd just be like, Jesus. It's really good for your hair too. I've gotten so many TikToks. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't. Yeah. Well, I probably keep getting them because I'll watch them all the way through. I may I'm have like, seen it though. I'm like, oh, it's a brush. I don't care. Oh yeah. You can, you can get this one. It's 150. I mean, she's cute. It's so cute. Speaking of cute? taking care of yourself and cute. Um, I, I don't want to ask this because Whitney Cummings keeps asking her guests this. And she asked specifically uh, Brie and Grace when they were on. Mm, okay. She was like, do you put lotion on no. after you shower? No, I never put on lotion. I haven't even, th I feel like it was such a thing when I was a kid. TJ does every single time. I'm like, I haven't even thought about, the only place I put lotion is my face. I know it's probably really bad. Yeah, our whole body is going to be wrinkly and our face will be smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we're like no, I 75. I literally never put on lotion. I don't either. And I'm like, do you need to? I think that you should. 
but my body is like very soft. <laughs> if you'd like to touch it, you can. I don't want to. Okay. What? Um. <laughs> Just disgust at I my feel sock. feel like it's probably better for your skin to yeah, lotion Definitely, up. but I feel like I'm good without it. I was curious because so now, she's always like shocked by people who don't. She's like the second I'm out of the shower, I'm lathering it up. I don't everywhere. like the way it feels. Yeah, even after like a, oh, I got a massage this weekend, it was nice. But after like a massage, I'm almost like, oh, like it's a lot of no, stuff I don't on like my legs. I'm gonna shower. Yeah. Cause it's so oily. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like feel obviously it. lotions don't get like oily, like all the shit they're using during a massage. But like, I'm just like, I don't need this. Yeah. Even when I have to put on like sunscreen, I'm like, ugh. I put lotion like on, on once arms. after that podcast. I did it once after the shower. And then I was like, I don't need to do this. Yeah, it's a lot. Especially oh. when my limbs are so long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine do putting you know lotion how much on. I would have to, that would cost me every year. <laughs> it's so true. Lathering up these. You know, you could get like sticks? the Target brand, like $1.59, big old jug of just lotion. Yeah, but like, would that even do anything? Probably. I feel like the ones that are fra fragrance free are like the best. Yeah. They're all probably the same, I would think. Um, okay, so my quitting weed journey. Oh yeah. I decided it's not for me. Okay. Quitting. Cause you were the one who decided it was for you. Yeah, and then I was like, um, this isn't fun. Like I, I was just not having fun with it at all. Like I, I would try to sleep. I literally would lay there. <laughs> I would take like, a uh, not a melatonin, I would take like my magnesium, blah, blah, blah. I'd lay there. And literally one night I listened to an hour sleep meditation and I still couldn't fall asleep. And I was like, fuck this, I could die tomorrow. So I was like, I'm gonna smoke yeah. anyway. And then- well, um, uh, It's probably because- I know, but I'm just like, well, what's the point? Like, it's not fun to fall asleep like this. <laughs> like, I hate this. Uh, but well, I haven't I'm had an edible sure. since last Sunday. Okay. So the edibles are probably, if I took one now, it maybe would shoot me through the roof. I don't really know. Maybe. Um, so what do you do? Just a little puff puff? Yeah, what I know, it's what I normally do. And Nolan's even like, you don't, like, you don't, it's not like you're smoking all day. Like you take a couple of yeah, weeks before you I fall asleep. I, d I didn't know that you, like, I don't think that you think that you have a problem with weed. I thought you just wanted to get a better sleep. I do, but I'll tell you, like last night I smoked like normal and got my REM sleep. Just letting everyone know, I decided not to quit. <laughs> Cause at that night I was like, I feel like when people quit things they're addicted to, they like have to want to, and I don't want to right now. <laughs> So this is the funniest journey. Yeah. Just, I want to quit. I don't want to quit. I, wa I thought I wanted to quit. <laughs> yeah. And then, then I realized how bad it was. And then I was like, it. look, it's my if one vice one thing in about life. Carly, she's not a quitter. I am not a quitter. <laughs> I also noticed like our last two podcasts are something about quitting. So it'd be funny oh. if this one's like not quitting, Yeah, <laughs> but We're, not a quitter, not yeah. a quitter. Um, but yeah, so that's how it's going. Um, I'm, She's I'm loving back it. On. I'm saying I'm loving it. Okay? She is back I, on. I love falling asleep again. There were a couple nights there where I, I didn't go one night without it though. Like not one night I went without it because I'd be like either not falling asleep Wait, or so, be like. <laughs> so every, you never tried doing a night without it? I tried. Okay. But I would get hours in and be like, um. no. And I, I tried everything. Well, not everything, but <laughs> I was like, maybe well, I'll count really sheep. Maybe I'll, ca I'll yeah. count backwards. And then I was like, this is so dumb. Like it's my one time to just like be out of my mind. Well, fall asleep. if you and then don't I did. care, then it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm glad that my REM sleep is back up. You or at least I, I did a night regularly smoking and my REM sleep was good. So I know that it can happen <laughs> and I feel fine. Like Once I'm not like, I'm not like, oh, I hate that I did that. You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. Wait, what do you mean? Last week you were like listing all of these reasons. No, no, why. I, mean, I feel fine still smoking. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. But then this week you're like convincing yourself <laughs> oh, yeah, that no. it's fine. No, I was trying to be like a mommy <laughs> blogger last week or something. I don't know. I yeah. felt like very like, I'm going to do sleep hygiene. No, not for me. What's sleep hygiene? Oh, sleep hygiene is a whole category of people. Yeah, I'm not interested. I... I was for a second. And then I was like, but for less than seven days. No, it was less than a day. Probably. <laughs> it was like two days. I really tried. And then I was like, I give up. What would you have to do to do what your sleep hygiene? Oh, sleep hygiene is just like, don't look at your phone for, don't look at screens for like an hour before bed. Oh, like maybe no. read instead. It's like, no, I'm, no, I'm falling definitely falling asleep to TikTok. Exactly. Like, that's not how I live my Put life. Put me to sleep. Yeah. What and else would I dream about if not for things that I saw on my phone before my eyes? And you're still getting, you're Close. dreaming. So clearly you're getting REM sleep. So clearly it's yeah. fine. 
Um, it's so funny because it's always like you you were in bed for nine hours or whatever, but like I got like the shittiest sleep ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's I mean that has to be why I like get a lot of sleep, but I'm still like, why am I tired for no reason? Ugh. Um, also I told you this already, but my doctor did call me about my vitamin D overdose. And she said she had never seen it in her entire life. She was like, I have never seen this high of vitamin D. And then I told, she was like, do you know why? And I was like, I know exactly why. And I told her and she was like, okay, I'm not worried about it then. Since like, that's probably where it's coming from, but come back in three months and we'll test it again. Oh, she was like, just, just don't take it. Sure. Yeah. Oh, she said, don't take it at all. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need any more. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Well, so. she, qu- so she quit vitamin D and you're back on weed. Yes. It's been a really productive month yeah. <laughs> for me. She stays slaying. And no therapy. This episode is sponsored by Framebridge. So I have two cats. I feel like everyone knows I have two cats at this point, but I wanted to surprise my boyfriend and get a huge picture of one of our cats framed. So I used, for, oh, there's one of them in the thing. So I used Framebridge for that. I haven't gotten it yet. I just did it like yesterday, but I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like. And he has no idea. So once I get it, I will show you guys. I think it'll be very funny. And it was super easy to do. You just upload a photo you want, choose a size of frame, choose the kind of frame you want, the color, whatever. And they're super upfront with their pricing. Like I said, I got this for my boyfriend. Well, it's for me too, but it makes a great gift. So if anyone has any, you know, birthdays coming up or a holiday coming up, Framebridge is a great place to get something framed because it's so easy and simple and they do everything for you. Framebridge is also happiness guaranteed. If you're not 100% happy with your piece, they will make it right, which I love that in a company. If it's not right, fix it. And Framebridge does that. I feel like definitely be using it more also because we have so many pictures and posters we've acquired from various estate sales and he's always on the hunt for frames and whatever so I feel like this is a really good place to just do it all. See why Framebridge has been trusted to frame over two million pieces. Visit framebridge.com or a local Framebridge store to get started and custom frame just about anything. That's framebridge.com. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it'd come in handy now. (laughs) No, I don't. My therapist was literally the one that was like, I forgot. It was years ago. I feel like it was when we still lived together, but I was telling her I like smoked every night and she was like, do you feel like that's a problem? And I was like, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a problem at all. And she was like, I mean, if you're like, if that's your way to like unwind and like get your mind off of things and not have anxiety at night, like by all means. Yeah. So, you know, that's, you know, that was replaying in my head while I was trying to quit. And I was like, you know what? It's so funny how fast my brain switches. I called her up. Like, no, no, thank you. Like during the day, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to try to like really like lay down at like 830, put the lights out, maybe watch some TV. And then literally like the night comes and I'm like, yeah, where's my pen? Yeah. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. I'm just shooting well, it up. I'm really proud of you for making that decision for yourself, for your health thank and your you. wellness. Thank you. And it's my year please keep us up to date with any further advancements yeah maybe i'll try edibles again I, I have go. two i have two full packs so oh my god yeah i should take one now yeah, take see one. if it kicks in take before we right end now and then maybe your <laughs> rem will be okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay well let's get into this day in history it's her story but jennifer garner victoria <laughs> beckham paris victoria paris <laughs> Julian Solomita. Oh. I always forget that he's younger than us. No way. I hate that. Just by a year. Still. Doesn't make it any less stabby. Yeah, you're a little bit more than a year older than him. I know. Well, I don't know, but I get it. Um, And then Phoebe Denevor, who I have not like heard about since Pete Davidson. I've never heard her ever. In Rooney Mara. And then for entertainment, we have Game of Thrones. Like it premiered? Yeah. Oh, wow. Too Hot to Handle. I never watched it, did you? No. I feel like I maybe tried like one episode and then it's like. I think I didn't like the way it was edited and yeah. stuff. Dude, it's just like, it was a weird like narrator. Yeah, like, well, now they're here. Yeah, I feel like Love Island does that too. Yeah. And it was, it's really hard for me to get Hotney into that. Hotney Bombshell has entered the villa. I know, I'm like, just have a reality, just make it like. Totally. Dana Pump, like just make it normal. Yeah. I don't like all the editing. Um, And then Mob Wives. Oh, damn. Bring it back. Mob, it's crazy. Mob Wives in Game of Thrones premiered <laughs> on the same date. Same oh, year. Oh, wow. Epic. Same day, same year. Yeah. Like, 
at the same show. I'm like, no, Game of Thrones like came out in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. Like it, uh, that's so, 2011? Like that's uh, yeah. so long I know. ago. It makes sense to me because I remember my boyfriend at the time was like, we were like watched together yeah. so I can like place that in time. But I think it's because it ended more recently. So it feels yeah. like it's more of a- It's so crazy. Later. There's only five seasons. I also think that like no one really talks about it anymore because I think the last season was like really bad. And everyone was like, yeah. oh, that sucks. That's true. And they had the, the Starbucks cup or whatever <laughs> in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how people don't pick up on that. I saw a, a TikTok and it was a movie that was set in the eighties. And this guy was running out, running outside of his house and he had a ring camera <laughs> on the outside of his door. It was so funny. Oh my God. I'm just God. like, it's crazy that no one catches that. I know. You, they I think, just have so much that they have to think about. I know, but I feel like there's usually one person like just that just does that. Person. Yeah. But maybe it was like a low budget movie. I don't maybe really know what the movie like, was. they were like, who but. cares? Yeah, yeah, you. You <laughs> as like, director, oh, are we gonna fucking fine. take this ring camera off or just like <laughs> hope people don't notice? They could have like CGI'd it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess if they don't have the budget to have like a person to make sure, they probably can't, don't have a CGI budget. I know. The Starbucks cup is so funny. I know. That's Iconic. insane. I mean, that's, that's even crazier because it's like a literal different universe. Uh, no one's drinking Starbucks. Insane. In, uh, like they don't even have Winterfell. Like that. They have fucking metal goblets. <laughs> yeah. like, and there's just a there's paper like Starbucks. caramel macchiato <laughs> in the middle of the room. <laughs> Wild. What a time uh, in pop culture. I know. It's so great. Um, okay. This one shook me to my core today. Uh, Logan Paul is having yes, a baby. Yes, I saw. Is this a longtime girlfriend? Yeah. Well, uh, they're engaged. Oh, so it is a long time girlfriend. I remember I told you I yes. cried. Yes, 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 I remember. Watching his proposal. I remember, but I just assume they're like always dating and getting engaged and breaking up. And I, I have know. to say like if Dick I'm happy here married. that like he's the one bringing the baby yeah. to earth. I don't, he seems fine. I agree. He's really had like a- That's exciting. Well, I don't know anything about him. He's really had a- He could be like out doing the worst thing. <laughs> I know. I have no fucking well, idea. That's I fair. don't keep up with Logan Paul, but like I feel like when I see him now, I'm not as annoyed as like- yeah five six years ago i think his podcast really like made him a lot more likable likable okay. yeah um he's so not as like douchey as Jake congrats to him i can't wait to see what they name it probably oh, like yeah. thor or like logan thor two <laughs> paul paul oh that would be kind of cool D did they say if it was a boy or girl um no i'm assuming she's like three months i would imagine she literally just looks like a completely normal like she doesn't look pregnant oh, at yeah. all. Some people don't show for real. I know she, well, she's like fit as fuck. Mm. So like, I bet she's going to be like teeniest little pregnant woman ever. Yeah. Um, but that's cute and exciting. Yeah. It says this fall. So I saw another influencer do the, it's finally secrets out. <laughs> like shut up. About their pregnancy. Yeah. That, oh. I hate people do stuff like that. There are so many things that I cannot stand that people do online. It's like, oh, we get it. We we get you were fr you're friends with them and you already know. Oh, when people comment that? Yeah. Oh. Wait, Ooh, what were you uh, saying? No, like even when people are like, oh, secret's out, we're having a baby. Oh, oh, oh like, no, I don't mean that. I mean, the caption. Um, I mean, like if yes. I was pregnant and you were Wait, like- I just saw someone do that out. too. They're like, I can finally talk about it now. And I'm like, don't make this about you. Yeah, this is weird. And like, it's one thing to say it to your friends. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy you told people like now I like can finally talk yeah, about yeah. it. Um, oh my God, whose did I just see it on? I don't know. It was my, it was me. <laughs> I did it. They're, oh, that is like, it's just so rude. I'm like this doing that for everyone. You. People I don't even know. So my story and be like, oh, thank God I can finally, like, I don't have to hold this in anymore. It. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. I have friends who they're having a baby and like literally, like they told me and we were out one night and I was like, oh my God, you have to like show them the photo like your baby scan. And I literally was like, oh my, cause I didn't tell anyone. Oh. And I was like, oh my God. Oh no. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. They're like, no, 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 it's fine. Oh, cause they're like waiting so to, scary. they're like far enough along, yeah. but they were like waiting to tell their families before they announced but it. But to be the person that no, like accidentally I literally, exposes something. Luckily it was just like me and another person, yeah. but immediately I was like, oh my fucking God. Cause like we've been around them a lot and like we chat about it. So like, I didn't even think anything of it. And then I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> but oh they were like, God. no, you we were so good. Like we're telling people. Oh God. It wasn't on the mic at emo night or anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guess what I remember? Oh. Mm. is that upstairs yeah but you can't hear it in here nolan's jamming he's jamming out it's it is sucks that that's like open right there because we probably wouldn't hear it at all if that was not open it's not bothering me yeah 
but I just didn't know. Bothering me. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've only just heard it a million times, but it's fine. Um, He's like producing a song for his friend. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, way to go, Logan. Good job, Logan. I think. Are they going to call their children the Logan? Or Mavericks? I don't know. <laughs> do you think he'll do a vlog channel, a family vlog channel? I don't think I don't think so. so either and I really hope not I feel like he, he'll have like a boundary with the kid and I do think it will soften him even more <laughs> you know him so well <laughs> I yeah I really am just just his therapist Logan love you especially if it's a girl <laughs> there's probably like a news article from last week he got like canceled <laughs> for like something super, yeah, I don't, like so I don't racist know anything or something. about Logan Paul right now <laughs> it'd be so funny if <laughs> the day before this comes out something happens where he did like the worst thing imaginable <laughs> And like, I don't remember. I just keep it all in. Yeah. We love Logan. I think it's because he's like been out of my life that like, I don't think about him. So I'm like, uh, yeah. oh, he's great. Not that but he was like, ever in our see lives, anything really. about like, yeah, like in the media, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And th- but then like anytime I see something about Jake Paul, it's always like such an eye roll. And I'm like, yeah. ugh, well, why is he thing. still this Jake way? Jake comes off douchey. Logan does not. Yeah. And his drinks are so good. <laughs> his prime hydration. Prime. It's a whole thing. Maybe they'll name the baby prime. <laughs> Optimus prime. Strawberry banana. Optimus prime Paul. Don't even give them that idea. Honestly? Optimus Prime Paul. If that was the name of their kid, I would- Optimus Paul. Optimus Prime Paul. Is Prime part of the first name? Is no, it like a Sally Dog? Middle, like Optimus. Yeah. No, they would just call him Opti. Opti Paul. Opti Paul. Optimus Paul. I don't know. Optimus Prime Paul. I, ho- I wonder if it's gonna be such a normal name. Yeah, like- Sarah. <laughs> Jordan. Oh yeah. Oh my God, what if he has a- That's what I said. I daughter. said, what if it's a girl? I feel like that'll make him even more. Oh. I don't know Logan at all. <laughs> so I don't know what we're talking about. Me neither. We're just making but like up any in our head. girl dad, like. We're glamorizing Logan Paul. <laughs> we love him. Um, <laughs> He's my favorite influencer. <laughs> what is going on? There's oh, like, yeah. They're doing construction next door. Oh my God. Um, okay, then obviously we can talk about Tevez at Coachella. Oh, yeah. Cute. There's not like a story around mm-hmm. it, but like they were at Coachella. Which was pretty iconic for Taylor. I feel like she <sighs> doesn't do things. Well, that's not true if she does because she was at Coachella when um, Calvin Harris played yeah. her Bleachella era. But so cute. He's literally her personal bodyguard. They are so cute. I was just like giddily watching every video. Of yeah, them. the the video of him like picking her up really fast. Yeah. I was like, this is so funny. Like and she was at like an EDM set. Yes, by the way, like they're hopefully on and they Molly. listen to James Kennedy. <laughs> I know <laughs> they listen to James Kennedy. Well, set. they were at Neon Carnival, and he started playing like a remix. Yeah, of Cruel Summer. Yep. Yeah. And she was like singing along to it. But then she was like, what the fuck? She, it was funny. Her face was like, huh. it almost looks like when she's like acting, but yeah. maybe that's just how she is. Cause like, yeah, I, I don't know if she's she just like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. There was also a couple photos that came out like her with Teresa and then her with the dog. And I literally thought they were AI. I thought the one with the dog was AI for sure. Oh, I was like, this yeah, looks like an AI looked- photo, but then there were other photos that edited came out. weird. Uh, yeah. Someone had to have edited at least because yeah. other photos came out and I think like a video. So I was like, okay, she obviously was there with that dog. Yeah. Um, is that the same dog that we've met? <laughs> like, there's no way. I have no idea. Oh, I'm like, no way. Is that dog still alive? I don't know. I know that dog. Famous. Famous. Famous um, dog. Yeah. But they were Slay. so cute. I know they were hanging out with Ice Spice and then they watched her set. Yep. Cute, cute, cute. And I love that he was with her, like literally had his arms around her, like literally her bodyguard. Couldn't get closer. I would think they probably had other bodyguards there. No, there were absolutely. Okay, scary. I was like, I don't see any, but like maybe there's like yeah. people right there lingering. I don't know. They, if you like look in photos, you can see that. Oh, okay. But Thank they're God. just like very serious. <laughs> yeah. Blend in. They were probably wearing assless chaps. <laughs> the security guards. <laughs> yeah. To blend just in. pulling a full James Charles. <laughs> so everyone <laughs> knew like didn't know they were like oh maybe we could like attack taylor but then like the bodyguards would come out in their assless chaps yeah and, like i also wonder if she like felt a little safer because like you're well i've never been to coachella but i assume they like search through your things so you don't bring any weapons in or anything yes but i guess that's like any show that's true but i would feel like okay everyone here doesn't is obviously like clean <laughs> yeah but well not clean but you never know i know that's why I was like, damn, she's just out here. But I, I love that. It made her very like human to me. She's allowed to have fun again. She's allowed. She's ready. They she's are allowed. just thriving and they're so cute. I know. And I want them to get married. I know. They're so cute. 
They are so cute. I think this is the first like Taylor relationship that I'm like invested. Yeah. Like obviously I loved her with Joe because of the songs and everything. And they seemed like very in love and quiet and whatever. I but still now don't know. We know she was just being held hostage. Uh, obviously. Well, we'll know this week because tortured, to po tortured he, toe department comes out. Tortured poets department. I can finally fucking say it. He's got to be freaking out. Yeah, department. So that, and he, it's weird. He's credited on a song. He's credited on the, the smallest man that's ever lived. So people are theorizing that she's gonna use like an old voicemail or like say things in the song that he said to her, which I don't think you'd need to give song credits to someone for mm. that. Um, but William Bowery is at least what and I saw. Maybe it's like an old song that they wrote. It together. could be that too. Yeah, but everyone's like, it's gotta be like old voicemails. I'm like, I don't know if that's no legal. No way. I know. Would she do that? But I'm curious what it's gonna be. Like, I'm curious what the song is now. I think that it's just gotta be like, he participated in writing the song. Yeah. I cannot imagine she would use a voicemail from him. I I don't think so either, but I, that's gotta be illegal, right? If you don't get permission to use someone's voicemail in a song. It depends on if they were, what kind of state she was in when she- Like sober or <laughs> no, like <laughs> literal um, state. Like a legal state. Or country. Like, Maybe they were in London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what is it like double- Yeah. California, you can't record a phone call unless it's double, con double consent, consent yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, Taylor. Tay Tay. Well, love you, girl. I can't wait for your album. I'm so excited. No one talked to me. 9 p.m. Pacific time on mm -hmm. Thursday. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, also, I watched SNL this weekend. It was pretty funny. Oh, was that the one with the Pilates skit? Was it Kristen Wiig as the host? No. Okay, never mind. That must have been last week. Yeah. I just, someone it was, was Ryan like, Gosling. Oh, yes, I did the all too and well. He thing. was so funny. I love him because he couldn't, like, during every single skit they did like he could not keep a straight face <laughs> i love it so it was so silly goofy those are the best too very funny uh -huh. and i was pleasantly surprised oh he just seems like the best guy to be around yeah little sweetie yeah apparently there was like a Pil that's why i brought it up a pilates segment with kristen wiggs like a pilates instructor and she's just like see do it like michelle over there and it's like someone like breaking their leg <laughs> to like Aww. to bend it like towards themselves <laughs> she oh yeah because she's on um i was like what is she promoting she has that new show, Palm mm. Royale. Oh, yeah. Kristen, which is good. It was good. I saw, um, I think, it, yeah, Annie Letterman. You know, she said she started watching it and she thought that it was going to be about Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, whoa. What well, this? that's fair. Mm -hmm. It's close. Mm. I guess a Palm, a Palm. Palm Beach. A palm is a palm. palm Springs. Same environment, sure. sort of. Oh, it's in Palm Beach. Yeah. I thought you were just maybe saying Florida. things. Florida. <laughs> no, no, no. Not just saying things. Okay. Um, but like it's the same vibe, I would say, as like a Palm Springs vibe. Okay. Cute. <laughs> it's getting loud. I know. I still don't hear it though in my headphones. Just a... You just think, think, think. <laughs> we love you, Miss Hannigan. I couldn't remember <laughs> if we recapped Vanderpump. We... <laughs> uh, not last week's. Okay. Not last week's. Okay. Well, yeah. I wrote it all down. Okay. But like, genuinely, I'll try to I remember. Like, I have no idea. And I know. Then I had to like Google, and I was like, "What even happened?" Yeah. I remember being very upset that last episode. Okay. I, you'll um, have to remind me because I because know it, what happened. Okay, so it's like uh, an extension of the beach stuff, but then we right. see Ariana hang out with Lala yes. and Sheena and she finally like breaks down and is like, I'm so sad. It like, I had my whole life planned out and like he went and fucked it all up mm -hmm. and like no one has my back. And then like, that's when they're like finally being like, oh yeah, oh, give you a hug. But then like literally two scenes later, they're talking shit about her and Lala is like, I don't feel bad for her because she, she goes back to the house that he yeah. lives in and it's like that's not the situation it's not like they're ha they're together and she just like, like what are you saying to you about the situation like how evil are you that you can literally be like your friend's crying to you and then what well i'm sure the confessionals are filmed later yeah but like even have the audacity to say that like you just look like evil yeah that's so mean that's I awful it's, i hated that it's like everyone was there for right when it happened which is obviously good and like seemed yeah supportive and then it's just weird because Ariana hasn't really done anything. No. You know, I mean, she just has like a boundary and it's like yeah. 
Every, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, the way that people are spinning it is, I mean, I can keep saying it is just so bizarre to me. Like your friend just sat there and cried to you and told you like so authentically how upset she was. And she knows that like harboring this resentment towards him is not good for her, but she's just going through it. And yeah. for you to like sit there and like get it and like comfort her, but then like two scenes later be like, like oh, mm. idiot. <laughs> yeah. Obviously like you're not like that hurt. Yeah. It's like, how do you know? Like, could you imagine if this happened to you? They were saying this about you with Randall. Like, you'd flip a bitch. Yeah. Like, uh uh-uh. Yeah, you would have been kicked off the show because you would have been in physical altercations. Literally. I don't know. I don't like it. And I don't like the, like, way that it's like, oh, a woman can only be, like, like, it, it, like, they're not supportive of her when she's angry. Mm-hmm. But then when she's, like, soft and sad, they're like, oh, we're here for you. And, yeah. like, I don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. Like, people should be allowed to feel whatever fucking emotion they're feeling at that time. And if they are your friend, you should be there for them unconditionally. Yeah. And it's also, like, they broke up in a terrible way. Yes. They don't he speak. on her. They have a mediator. Of course she's going to flip the fuck out when they have to film together and people are, like, making Shoving jokes about... Yeah, like, of course. And that's not real life either. Like, in real life, she would never have gone to the beach with yeah. Tom Sandoval. So it's like, of course she's going to have a reaction. I don't think that's that crazy. And it's weird, too, because the discourse online is like, well, when did she expect no one was going to film with him? Like, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, okay, well, Stassi didn't film with Jax when he did that to her. Like, there's... I don't remember. <laughs> there's stuff of like course. that where it's, like, so... Uh, you could have done it in a way where it was like, you're not fighting with Tom, but you're so clearly still on Ariana's side. Yes, yes. And I don't know. I hate the way that they're making her look. And everyone, <laughs> I know. Somebody, it's so crazy to me. I hope I can find it. I, I screenshotted something on Reddit about Lala and it was basically, it, it like summed it up really well for me. We're like, oh, I could never put this into words. Um, but I don't know if I can like find it really quickly. It was basically saying like, how frustrating Lala is because on one hand she's doing so much, so much better with like her emotions and like being very like, I don't know. I can't even say it now, but on the other hand, it's like, what the fuck are you saying? Like what? I wish I could find it and not just sound like It's also weird because like she (laughs) more than anyone, like Katie doesn't talk about them. Ariana doesn't talk about them. Like Sheena and Lala are just like on this like rampage currently like talking about their relationships online and like neither of them are really saying anything about it and Lala on her podcast she was like well I don't feel bad for Ariana or whatever because like she's never had anyone's back and then someone made a full compilation I, yeah, of like a dozen plus times where Ariana has like stood up for all of them and yeah. like literally was the only person to like be like Lala is a good person like we can't all be mean to her and like really let her in the group and so I don't know it's just like if it were me and I then started seeing that stuff I'd be like what the fuck am I doing yeah like what is my end goal here no that's why she's the most famous one now <laughs> she's yeah. getting all these opportunities I mean obviously it's because of everything but yeah it's like but like if I were Lala I'd be like oh shit like I take it back. <laughs> I know. She was there for me, actually. I know. I'd be like, oh, I just saw this compilation and I retract my statement. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, what am I doing? Because that'd be me. I'd be like, I don't remember that. And like, Ariana <laughs> doesn't talk about them at all. And when she does, it's like, I mean, couldn't be me. Like, if people were tarnishing me all over the internet, but I think that she's like really protecting her brand and her image. Yeah. Um, but I also just don't think that she's ever really been that way. So I don't know. And then Lala unfollowing Ariana. Oh, it's just like embarrassing. I'm like, what are you doing, girl? Did you hear her explanation? Yes. I was like, her explanation was. Just say you did it because you don't like them. Yeah. She was like, well, I'm just really anal about how many people I follow. And so I had to unfollow a couple people. And they were the two. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you could have been anyone else. It couldn't have been a someone you didn't Uh, know that well literally and it was so you could follow someone new you just met yeah it's just so just literally be honest it's weird (laughs) be like i unfollowed them because i do not like them it's funny because lala rubbed me the wrong way the first episode for a completely different reason (sighs) i was so annoyed at how well i was i wasn't annoyed that she reached out to raquel because like whatever Mm -hmm. but like the last time we saw her you were so like fuck you like in everyone's faces yelling screaming and now you're like yeah. i just think that and like of course it's good you know she probably went to therapy she probably like had time to process it and yeah. it's maybe now a little bit more chill but it's like and now you want people to 
come around to them after you berated them like months ago. I yeah, understand. I just think that like most of her conversations she's having with people is giving like, I want filming time. Yeah. Cause like, there's so much that's just like, huh? Why no, are you with The this house person? thing why is like the most annoying thing to me. Cause yeah. I'm like, the, the whole argument is why can't we be f- not, I don't even know if it's friends or like, why can't we have a relationship with Sandoval when you literally go home to the same house every night? Sleep, and it's like, yeah, they have a, <laughs> what, it's not the same thing. They like, it's not it like together. Yeah. It's not like they're choosing to live together and have like breakfast every morning and they yeah. hang out. It's like, they hate each other. Pretty yeah. much. Like, and also you hated him too, up until yes, this very fucking minute, up until he was screaming, doing breath work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which should have made you run away then. It's very I'm just kidding. Breathwork is really nice, actually, but I don't do that kind of breathwork. No. I'm just upstairs. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like literally orgasm. Maybe I need to do it. I don't know. Um, but then I saw a clip this morning. I don't know what the outlet was, but they were like on a Zoom with Sheena and Katie. Did you see this? No. And oh, it was like US or us, US Weekly. <laughs> yeah, no, like something. Us Weekly. I read um, the trans, like I read what she said, but I don't really oh, know. Yeah, Katie like so pushed. She was like, I really like don't know what's going on. Yeah, she was like, I'm not really sure. She seemed very confused. Yeah, and then Sheena comes on and she's like, I get it. Like I get why Lala would do that, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, then what Sheena's saying, she was like, well, Lala was telling me like all her frustrations about like all these people, but then like, okay, but that completely contradicts what Lala said was yeah. the reason that she did it for. I know. I'm just, I, I just got to see the reunion. I How many know. episodes are left? I'm like annoyed that there's still episodes. No, I know. I'm like, can we just get to the third reunion? <laughs> like get us to the reunion. How do we time travel? I need well, time to travel know. me to Thursday for Taylor and then to, to the reunion, please. Thank you. Yeah. Well, what, oh, it's going to be episode 12. How many are there? Do we know? I don't know. Hopefully this is the finale. <laughs> I don't think it is. I but know. There's well, no way it's the finale. Yeah. Um. The, basically then we got... Katie and Schwartz had this weird like love triangle situation that was like oh. obviously very Set production up. maneuver. Yeah, yeah. Seemed pretty fake. It was like, it made me like chuckle because yeah. I just thought it was like funny. And I like seeing the Katie and Tom dynamic post relationship. Yeah. And I feel like we've gotten like a little silly goofy. Over yeah, the I like the silliness. Episodes. I think it's good because all yeah. we've seen is like negative. And so yeah. it's kind of funny to see that. Where she's like, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so love that mm-hmm. um then uh we got schwartz going blonde oh yes which oh. okay i want to say hot take everyone's like his hair looks terrible mine also looked terrible when at first and i had to i had to go back days later and yeah. tone it and i feel like that's maybe what happened bleach and tone <laughs> yeah bleach and tone like a bleach and tone um because like for some reason she like she toned my hair the first time, but I think it was such a dramatic change totally. from my old hair that she was like, let's wait a day or two and like tone it again. And then yeah. it looked blonder. I don't know. Maybe that happened to him. I don't know. Well, I think the hairdressers are just like coming for Joe being like, this is not how you do it. Yeah. And then also it's so funny because in the episode, I don't know how you fucking dye hair. So I was just like, this seems a little haphazard, but like it's a guy, like yeah. seems easy enough. But then one of the other women working at the salon was like, okay, do you think that's been enough time? I know I saw. (laughs) And I was like, oh, that doesn't seem good. (laughs) Well, another little weird thing I saw was she was doing his roots first. And with bleach, you're never supposed to do roots first because there's so much heat on your scalp that it like processes quicker. But maybe for guys, it's different though. I don't know. Maybe for guys, it doesn't matter because his hair is so short. Didn't we do your roots first? Yeah, but we didn't know what we were doing. (laughs) It wasn't bleach, but it was something. It was dying those dark ass roots. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I probably have a disease now. Stick to the Schwartz plot. Oh yeah. And then um, he, while he was getting his hair done was like, oh, I'm going to go to like a singles event with Sandoval. And like, I'm pretty sure Joe was under the impression that like he was going to like support Sandoval. And she was like, she said that on Rachel's podcast. I'm going to come on too, or I want to go too. um, And we can like support Sandoval together. So then they go to this event and when they are there, they have to put on these wristbands that basically indicate whether you're like single taken or like a wingman or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and Great concept, by the way. It's, I mean, yeah. Maybe they do that everywhere. Well, it's like a, have you, well. Like party cups? No, like it's called like a stoplight party. No. <laughs> Yeah. I've never been to a party, unfortunately. I know. You're just a baby. I know. I never went. Never <laughs> will. Uh, but I've seen like the TikToks that are like, oh. c- the col- like which color cup you drink out of that night is either mm-hmm. means you're single, taken, DTF or yeah. something else. Um, okay. And so then Schwartz is like, oh, I'll put a green one on. And Joe's like, okay, well, I'll put a green one on too then. And is like a little confused, I think. And this is where we're really starting <laughs> to, to tell that like Joe is 
a little bit more invested than Schwartz oh, maybe yeah. is. Um, and then at one point he starts making out with a girl and Joe finds out and storms off and is really upset. It was really like, okay, no more cool girl. Yeah. Like, don't be the cool girl. Yeah. Now. She's like, like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then it's honestly like kind of sad because she goes into a confessional because he then, I think, wants to like talk to her at their house and he's like, am I leading you on? <laughs> and then in the confessional, she's like, we literally say I love you to each yeah. other. And like, yes, of course you're leading me on. And that was kind of like pretty heartbreaking and just goes to show what a fucking loser Schwartz continues to be and has always been. Okay, I'm really confused. Oh. Because did you listen to any clips of like Joe yeah. on Rachel's podcast? I heard this clip and it clarified it a little bit. She said that her and Schwartz were in a relationship. They were in a relationship, but it's very confusing because during that scene, they're both talking about going on dates with other people, unless they just yeah. said that for the cameras. I don't know. Yeah. But she also said on the way to the speed dating for Sandoval, they agreed to put on red, <gasps> red wristbands. And so when he put on, was it like yellow or something? No, green. Or green. She was like, oh. He was good to go. He was, she was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, I guess I will too. And then the hat situation, remember how she was like, do you have another yeah. hat? It was like one of his dad's mm -hmm. or something. And so she was like really concerned about that. And then I just thought that was weird. I was like, of course. He was like, well, I'll just do green now. He, so I'm very confused that she said they were in a relationship at that time because even in that scene after where she's uh -oh. like, oh, what? It fucking erased my note. Oh God. I know you can get it back. I just okay, I don't have it. I got it. I got it. Um, <sighs> on the scene after when she's like, is there anything between us? Like what? Like, are you embarrassed of me? Or, yeah. And he was like, no, I just can't be in a relationship. Joseph. Yeah, yeah, no, Joseph, but. Which by the way, isn't her real name. Her name is Kaylee. Right, what's up with all these fake names? Well, Kaylee Joe, so she just goes by Joe. Oh, okay. That I makes think people sense. were like making it out to be a little more like nefarious. Should than I go, out, go by Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> my name's Jess. Some people just like their middle name better and I'm fine with that. I think my middle name's better. Jess, Jessica, Jessica. You would be a completely different person. Yeah, I would. What would I be like? A little whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I'll try it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That made me sad though. When I heard that, I was like, oh. But it was also weird because she was like, I've been asked to be go on podcasts and the only one I wanted to do was yours. And I'm like, what? Oh my God. And she was, yeah, saying how like she really had no idea that she Schwartz was telling her that they had broken up, like uh, Ariana and Sandoval. And so it's like very confusing. I don't blame Joe for like that stuff. Cause I'm just like, I don't know what she was being told. He's, well, yeah. And I believe, oh, he post. Okay. I, so I saw before the episode, he posted this like long winded mm -hmm. thing. And I was like, oh my God, what the heck is going to happen? And he said, new VPR tonight. This episode, I'm trying to give myself a little grace given I felt my whole life was in shambles. It was, and my brother's life was in peril. But good God, Schwartz, I'm watching back, like, get your shit together, man. Sit up straight and communicate effectively, concisely. Snap out of it, son. My inner Sergeant Hartman is heated. Also, remember that episode of Seinfeld where he's dating Gwen and George says she's a two-face? I'm coming to the realization that I may be a two-face. <laughs> attractive one day, not attractive the next. Anyways, F it. Onwards and upwards. What are you guys rating my blonde era one to 10? It did mark the beginning of a new era. Happy pump rules Tuesday. Come hang with me at Schwartz and Sandy's tonight. Like this There's whole too much information there. This whole post is just giving like, oh, oh, I'm such a piece of shit. Like feel bad yeah. for me. I'm reflecting now. And, um, but also like, I love you. <laughs> come on, come to Schwartz and Sandy's. Like it's just classic. This is how he's always been. Yeah. And like, I do not. The first comment, all caps, you treat women like shit <laughs> and pretend not to. You hide behind that charismatic smile and false sweet disposition and they all fell for it. Katie was made out to be the villain for years when she wasn't. Those of us from the beginning folks know you weren't going through a hard time the past 10 years. You suck and you know it. So over the men of Vanderpump rules, misogyny at its finest. Yeah, I feel like James is the only, I feel like James is the only person on the show that's like <laughs> understands Ariana. Oh, a hundred percent. It's really weird. Even on the after show, like it, it's him, Lala and Sheena and like Sheena and Lala will be like, well, she lives with him, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you guys are fucking idiots. And Lala like flipped out on him in one of the episodes. I'm like, Cause he was like, she's, she's going through Brica. It's just weird. It's like, Lala, take yourself out of this and like, see what happened. And like, who's really the victim here? So bizarre. Not Tom. 
It's so bizarre. Not Sandoval. I don't know. I always look at um, when people like post something and then I'm like, interesting. Oh, like what? Like I'm just like, oh, who liked this? And then I'm like, I'm judging you now. (laughs) But like, did you see something specific right now? Well, I'm just looking at who liked it. Oh, Brendan McNerney. Interesting. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Interesting. Interesting. Um, So that was sad with Joe. And then- the big, there was like a big takeaway moment for me that really like solidified my disdain with Lala right now. Mm-hmm. And it was, she went to lunch with Joe. Oh, the hot dog <laughs> which place? Which is like so weird. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> but then they go to a girl's night, like Lala, Sheena, Ariana, and Katie. Which was, oh, never mind. I'll tell you after. I know what you're going to yeah, say. Okay, okay. Um, and now, as long as you know. And then I know. <laughs> um, and then Lala just like casually brings up like, oh yeah, like I went to get lunch oh, with yeah. Joe and Katie is like so taken aback. And she's like, what? Like, why didn't you tell me you were doing that? And it, basically I like wrote the quote down because I thought Katie made a great point. She was like, loyalty is really important to me. And like, that is something that like a friend would tell me that they're doing when you know that like, I have an issue with this person, whatever. Yeah, they have a history by the way. But so she says, you don't know this girl. This girl's nothing to you. And I am something to you, Mm -hmm. which I'm like, period. Yeah. And basically she was like, this is really hurtful to me. And Lala's being so combative when Katie's like, just telling, she's like, what? Like, why wouldn't you tell me this? And Lala said, I don't care. It's not my job for my life to make sense to you. Okay. If she's like all in her soft side, why isn't she being soft to them too? No, I posted on my Instagram story. I was like, I love how Lala's idea of a soft side is just like befriending everyone who's hurt her friends. And then do you want to say who responded? Um, or no. No. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know. It could be anyone. Uh, um, but I'm just like, what? Like this it was is so Sandoval. confusing to me. <laughs> He's like so true yeah, bestie. Yeah, Sandoval was like, you're so right. So true me. bestie. But I'm like, what? Like if my friend was sitting there and is like, oh, this is really hurtful to me. Like, how do you not immediately just be like, oh shit, I didn't Literally, think that. Literally, that's like, what I don't get. Like, of course everyone's got to fuck up at some point, but yeah. once it's like- well, I, it's uh, also like, of course she went to go get fucking hot dogs for the show. Like, I don't think she actually wants to hang out yeah, with Joe. Yeah, they, they would like, not get along. She easily could have been like, Katie, I have to go fucking film with Joe yeah. today. Yeah. But instead, when Katie was like, huh? Like, why didn't you tell me this? She's like, it's not my fucking job yeah, to like, tell you. Down, and I would girlfriend. be like, okay, we're not friends. We're like, at the weirdest dive you, bar. Yeah. We can't be having this like argument yeah. here. Like, it's... Uh, yeah i mean if i didn't know the history of joe and katie i'd be like why does katie care at all yeah but like there's a history with the divorce and all that shit and like it doesn't matter if your friend is telling you like oh this is hurtful to me like don't be a bitch like try to understand why first at least especially if you're in your fucking soft error error Era. it is her error it's an error her soft error She's like, is true. because katie i'm in my soft era yeah I don't know. and i was like i'm gonna snap your neck <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm just oh i need the fucking re- reunion uh, it's uh oh i saw and, someone somewhere say that because you did you see how lala was like they've done something that they've never yeah. done before i heard that they make them watch it together oh which I'm like, okay, that's like- Are we gonna have to watch it again? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, like, like maybe they just watched it together and- Like we can see their reactions. Well, or just talk sometimes after. we do when they just like put cl- clips in, but like, I think it might be like immediately after, but I have no idea. That's just, I saw like- uh, Okay, well, like what happened in the last episode then? Something that has to be crazy, I would think. Yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. These people are exhausting. And by people, I mean Lala. It's all exhausting. It's all exhausting. I just feel so bad for everyone else who's just like trying to be normal. <laughs> I know. Like what? I mean, it makes a good show. I know, but it's becoming like, like I'm not even enjoying it. I'm just like, all these people are pissing me off. Yeah, it's it's hitting too close to home for you. Yeah, well, yeah, just because I am a loyal person. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, what, what, stop treating your friends this way who didn't do anything and like stop trying to make Ariana a villain to the world when like she didn't do anything wrong. She got cheated on after a 10 year relationship with her best friend. So like, I don't know, man. It'd be different if Ariana was out here, like, (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like being crazy and like, fuck you for even coming. Like if she just started freaking out, it's like, okay, calm down. But it's like, she is so calm all the time. Yeah. Except when Tom's around, which makes sense. Yeah. 
But for you to be like, oh, well, she got all these fucking brand deals and has a boyfriend, so she has no right to be upset is so fucked up and just like not the way a friend behaves. Yeah. It oh, it also really pissed me off when Sandoval was like, well, when she lives on her own, she's gonna be in for a rude awakening. (laughs) That like pissed me off because I'm like because people will say that to me like as a joke like I don't care but like if you and Nolan broke up or like he goes out of town like how will you eat oh, yeah. and I'm like I'll figure it the fuck out it's not yeah. like I'm helpless totally and it's also like he has always cooked and so it's like oh he's just gonna cook he yeah. does a lot of like house stuff and so no, like he 100%. just does it and someone could look at that and be like oh Carly doesn't do anything like she's lazy to but it's like fair if someone said that to me, I would be like, yep, I'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. At least you know. Like, I would yeah. be like, how dare you think I'm like so stupid? I can't put a paper towel on a fucking oh, thing. It's yeah. like, it's just, you did it all the time. So I didn't have to. No, 100%. I feel like that's what really was happening. Yeah. Because what he was saying, like the paper towels were never and stopped. I would make her her coffee. And it's like, I thought you were making her her coffee because you wanted to make her her coffee, uh, not because yeah. you thought that she was going to like you were going to gain some notoriety for making her. Oh my God. I was praise be to you, Tom Sandoval. Okay. Oh, I want to ask you this. I was live and someone said F Mary kill. Oh no. I know. Um, I think it was fuck. I did it wrong the first time. Okay. It was definitely Sandoval. Mm -hmm. I think Schwartz. Who the fuck was the other one? Who else is on that damn show? Brock. No. I feel like it was someone else that I was like, ugh. Peter? <laughs> no, I, I can't remember. But Jax. I, oh, Jax. It was Jax. Okay. It was Jax, Sandoval, and Schwartz. F, Mary kill. I would marry Schwartz because I could bully him and that would be fine. I wouldn't be able to like compete with Tom nor would I want to be with him. Sandoval? Yeah. Like I think with Schwartz, it would be like one of those marriages where we just are unhappy. Yeah. Because I, don't, I do not like him as a person. So who'd you F? I'm trying to think. Oh, Jax. I know. I feel like this is what I said. I think I I think I was going on the same route. I think I said I'd marry Schwartz. And I think I said- Cause he's just like the lesser of three evils. Yeah, and like, at least he's nice. <laughs> like he's not gonna, you know, I mean, nice on the surface. Like he's not gonna be yeah. like, fuck you, you ugly bitch, which Jax might do, or maybe Sandoval, I don't know. The, um, ugh. It's, is it's the option ter- to kill myself? It's literally terrible. No, you have to live through it. And you have, okay. to, you have to be sober. I, I would I would say- <laughs> Midday, sober. I couldn't do Sandoval ever. Okay, so Jax. I think it would be Jax and then Sandoval. I think Sandoval is too big of like a narcissist that it would like really turn me off. Yeah. Uh, and I think Jax would be really quick. Oh, for sure. Especially because apparently they haven't had sex in two years or something. Yeah. Oh, that'd be even better. I wouldn't even have to sleep with them. Yeah, you could just look at him and he'd be like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just like just flash flick, him a boob. I flick his penis. Yeah. Oh, he had to touch it. Put a glove on. I could give him a foot job. He loves feet. It's like so. <gasps> oh my God. Perfect. And that's you could film it for OF. So easy. And be like, this is Jax. You'd have to sign off though. That's technically sex. Yeah. I think so. Mary Schwartz, foot job Jax. <laughs> <laughs> kills him. Then you don't have to look. You can just look away. Yeah. Um, I think I said Mary Schwartz, kill Jax. And the only reason I said F Sandoval was because maybe I'd get a dumpling latte after and maybe it's good. That's very true. So, and I do think as fucked, as weird as Tom is, I feel like he is so, <laughs> this is so gross. Mm-hmm. I feel like he would take care of you while having sex. Oh, I do. I don't need that from any of those men. I don't either, but I'm just saying like if I had to choose. Yeah, no, I, I'd feel be like, like, I feel like Jax would be like, <laughs> and done. Exactly. And that's exactly how I'd want it to be with him. Oh, that's like, true. I would, like, <sighs> Dump a also, latte though, like, I'll I take it. I don't think, can I be drunk in these scenarios? No, I said you have to be completely sober and it's midday. Okay, yes, probably still Jax. Because I think like Sandoval, like Sandoval would make it carry on for far too long. Ew, I'm starting to think about him speaking and during the, sex. Yes, and then he would like oh, maybe yeah. like sing a little bit and then he'd want to <laughs> like, he'd want to like cuddle after and like, you know, make it about, be like, oh, well, like, how was it for you? And I'd be like, I literally- How was it for you? Let me make you a dumpling latte. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, but please stop talking. Thank you. Yeah. No, I would like get tricked and be like, wait, I do like him. <laughs> and then I'd yeah, be like a, a villain. Yeah, I'd be a villain. I would fall for it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> God damn okay. it. Okay, well, we got there. Um, I had one news item I totally forgot to bring up. Oh. I can't believe you didn't bring it up. I, did you see that Megan Fox finally addressed oh, yeah, I did. the Chelsea uh, from Love is Blind? I did. I thought it was really sweet. She basically was like, I've never been blown up more about somebody, yeah. <laughs> which was so funny to me because so was Chelsea. And I honestly didn't think people were going to be blowing up Megan. Like I thought they'd just be like, 
I don't know. I feel like people she surrounds herself with would probably just be like, oh, that's funny. But like, yeah. she's probably seen this or something. And she was like, I hope she still has a sparkle in her eyes. Yeah. Like, I know I don't have it anymore. <laughs> and she was like getting really dark. And then she was like, have a happy day. <laughs> I was like, okay. Did you watch her call her daddy interview? Uh, Megan Fox? Yeah. No. It's so good. I love her. Yeah, I saw, I just saw the clip of like her plastic surgeries. You should watch the whole thing. It's really good okay. and entertaining. She's I, so fucking weird. I couldn't get through the JoJo one. No. JoJo Siwa was on and- I mean, no, God bless her. Megan's. I just like could not finish it. I think it's just so weird because like she seems so aware, but also not at the same time of like how cringe everything is. But I also feel bad because like, who am I to judge like what anyone else is doing? But like, it's okay. You can. <laughs> I know. I just feel like bad because I'm like, you're little. <laughs> I know. But I um, don't know. Anyways. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Megan Fox. Hers was really interesting because she's like witchy. Like she's a little bit oh, witchy yeah. uh -huh. and like very spiritual. And she Ooh. said that like, oh my God, Carly, she's so weird. I'm obsessed with her. Was it about the blood? No, not okay. that one. But she said that like, she's had her boobs done. And like before, like any time she gets like really freaked out having to go under anesthesia because she's like, you could just die. Mm -hmm. And she said before she has to go under like that morning. She will be like, if you like saw a black cat, saw an owl, like got into a fight with your wife or something, like saying this to her team. She's like, <laughs> we're not doing it. Oh my because God. Then like we're going in with bad juju. And she's like, I literally will sit down and like go through all of this stuff with them. And Alex was like, they must think you're crazy. And she's like, no, like they love me. But I'm like, that's wild. Wow. So like you should watch it. It's really interesting. Yeah, I love and, like, that. It was really cool watching her like that. in the beginning of the episode, you could tell she was like a little like nervous. And then like really she started to open up. She's also so smart. Like I know I could listen to her talk forever. I, I don't even think she said like one time. She's oh, how? So, so smart. And she didn't even graduate high school, I don't think. <sighs> and here How I do am. people get there? graduated damn college? I'm like, 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 oh my God. Yeah, we don't even know the three branches of government. Yeah. The Santa Maria. <laughs> Nina Pinta Nina Santa Pinta Maria. Santa I'll never Maria. forget that. <laughs> I know. I and for what? I don't like need a, to know that anymore. A killer? <laughs> yeah, I don't need to know <laughs> it. Um, and then for the Valley, I didn't even take it in me to um, look it up because I just feel like the same thing oh, happened yeah. again. And I just wrote down that I was team Kristen. I think yeah, that it is so well. highly, highly unlikely. By the way, Kristen, I think the only thing she's ever lied about was when she didn't tell everyone that she slept with Jax. Oh, really? Other than I don't that, remember. She, she would say things that were like supposed to be secret, but like she was never a liar. Oh, okay. And um, so like, I don't take her as a liar. I also just don't think that she would make something like that up on her own. Um, and I just think that everyone else is not taking accountability for their participation in how this storyline yeah. And she's also like be. not flipping out no. like she used to. I, I don't know if it's cause like cameras just picked up and she's like, I gotta act cool. <laughs> or if it's like- I think she's genuinely like changed, yeah. but everyone keeps provoking her. Yeah. And she's just like, okay. Like when they, and they're talking to her like she's like seven. I know. And by the way, I'm not like a Kristen Stan by any means. Like, I'm just like, this is like dumb. Yeah. And Jax is like, <laughs> he's such a fucking instigator. He was like, you should call him out. Like, go call him out about Zach. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But then like in the same breath, like behind Kristen's back, we'll be like, I can't believe she did that. <laughs> I know, I love I'm it. like, you're such a fucking piece of shit. Um, but yeah, like for the most part, I'm like on her side with this one. I don't think that like she's being that crazy. And like, she did privately try to have conversations with these people to apologize. Yeah. And like, they're the ones They're all like blowing her off and being like, Ugh. yeah. But we also don't know the history. Maybe they, so much has happened that they're like, this is yeah. the final but straw. Also like with Zach, when she had that conversation with him, he admitted to being I like, I know, that's yeah. what I'm so confused about. So it's just like weird. And I feel like they're kind of gaslighting her a little bit. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I'd be into the show if it wasn't like VPR adjacent. Like if it was like oh. random people and I just started it and this all was happening, I'd be like, I don't care about this. I th I'm really enjoying. I mean, I, yeah, I'll, I'm going to watch it, but I'm yeah. just like, it doesn't give me the, you know, it's no 90 day fiance. So <laughs> it's no my 600 pound life. So true. Yeah. My favorite reality TV. Oh, Kristen. Yeah, and like the they're like, oh, crazy Kristen. I'm like, she's literally not being crazy. Yeah. Uh, like we'll not see. for one second was she being crazy. I know. I'm just confused. And I'm just like half paying attention, I'm gonna be honest, to that whole show. Oh, so you don't even really know. No, I do. I, I watched it, but I'm just not like I'm not like with Vanderpump Rules, I'm like, I need to see every scene. With this yeah. show, I'm like watching, maybe like going through Twitter a little bit, watching. Yeah. I'm just like, eh. 
same, it feels like every episode's the same kind of for me right now. Well, they have only been fighting about the same thing for the past two episodes. So if we could just move on. Yeah, can we move on a little bit? Can someone cheat or something? <laughs> and Jesse's really scary. He scares yeah, me. Yeah, I know. He's like a, yeah. He's somebody that I feel like you'd get warned about. <laughs> yeah. Or something. No, he scares me. Like, actually. Oh, sorry. I want if to anyone's this- crazy Kristen, it's Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Jesse is crazy Kristen. <laughs> I hate him. He's like, yeah, he's a great hair one, right? Mm-hmm. yeah he's like scary yeah i don't know how to explain it i feel like he'd hit me a hundred percent that um, is the vibe this is so unorganized in my head and i'm so sorry but i have one more news thing that like shook me to my core this morning the i'm sure you saw but like the girl from tiktok died oh, yeah. the one who's like um you want more i'll give you more like the blind item girl yeah. she just died. her mom confirmed it on linkedin question mm-hmm. um yeah so I guess you already knew. I just, I saw that and I was like, holy fuck. I didn't even know she was sick or anything. I don't think she was. I think that a lot of people are like, this is suspicious. I also saw she had like a lot of health problems though. I don't, I don't like know her that well. Some people said that she previously had had cancer. Okay. That makes sense. Cause but I did see a cancer does thing. not now. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll find out. Yeah, but people are like sus about it because she posts blind items and she recently brought up um, Diddy and was like, I'm actually scared to be talking about this. Uh, Oh, Um, ew, that's weird. Yeah. Should we stop talking about it? Well, no, because we're not breaking any news. I am. I did. Kesha did come (laughs) out and perform with Renee Rapp. And fuck P. And she said, and she said, fuck P. Diddy. Wait, am I in trouble? Am I going to be hunted down for making that TikTok? No. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, maybe. I did break the news. <laughs> maybe yeah, but you just repeated. You weren't like, I deleted I'm it, getting by the way, all of this. So. You did. Yeah, because I was like, I hate this. Well, because people are finding it from Joe's podcast. And they're like, I'm here from Joe's. And I was like, stop, don't watch this. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. Most embarrassing of my life. No, I'm just did you watch any of Coachella? Um, we watched Lana. Okay. Which was really. It was. Oh my God, that was on so late. We didn't watch the whole thing. Oh no, we watched like the next day. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I was like, Jesus Christ. But not like a lot. We watched some Vampire Weekend. I wanted to watch Sabrina, but by the time- It was not good. It wasn't? We watched the whole thing. It was just like- Oh, she's so cute though. Too, like she was doing too much. In what sense? Like, okay, so first her set was amazing. Uh-huh. It was really cool. Loved that. Like it started off really great. We were like, oh, this is cool. But then in between every song, oh. there would be like a video that played. And like she oh. wouldn't change her outfit or anything. Like she would just uh. come back out still the same. Hmm. And it would be like 30 seconds to 60 seconds. So it just was like, okay. <laughs> like th- it, this, it's too much. Interesting. And it kind of took us I out of it. I want to watch it. Is it like on YouTube? We I watched like it can... live on YouTube. Oh. I don't know if- I feel like they're never like anywhere to watch. Un- unless well, how it's did like... you watch Lana? Uh, it was still there because it's like a- live right. stream but it only goes so far back some of them on but i don't not everyone because we went back we watched also we had watched chaperone right before her and she's like unbelievable and it was so like energetic and lively and like the flow was so great and then to immediately watching sabrina where it's kind of like a yeah. totally different vibe mm-hmm. we were like okay we're bored it's like going from taylor swift to one direction <laughs> like okay <laughs> yeah you guys are just running around um uh, yeah so that i didn't really love hers but Chapels was so good. And the next day we wanted to like go back and watch it, but they didn't put hers on there. Oh, maybe it'll be on YouTube. There w- I'm sure um, there's many TikToks you could watch. <laughs> oh, oh no, there's so many. But like watching a whole set yeah, in that fun. quality is really nice. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there will be. I know like Harry Styles' whole thing I think is on YouTube. So yeah. maybe like, I don't know. It was like, I was like, do I want to go next weekend? Oh my God, really? Yeah, but I think I just want like the... Like for me, it's the, like being in Palm Springs, well, not actually Palm Springs because it's mm-hmm. not in Palm Springs, um, but like being in the Coachella Valley and like the vibe that I get when I'm there and then like maybe popping in to like see a couple of acts. That's fair. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I I no, was like, like I oh, just can't this imagine. seems nice. Yeah. Like, gotta bring a mask that next weekend will be so dusty i know okay am i the asshole yes please bear this is kind of a long one and i don't read good i know so spare with me but i thought that it was interesting so i really went for it 
Am I the asshole for prioritizing a friend over my pregnant wife? My wife, my wife, by the way, do you know they're getting divorced? Yeah. Okay. My wife, don't I just keep saying these things that you already know. My wife, 28 female, and I, 29 male, got married last summer. She is currently seven months pregnant with our first child. She had an appointment with her OBGYN two weeks ago to address some complications with the pregnancy. The doctor wasn't overly concerned and confirmed that both my wife and the baby are healthy, but they did recommend her starting her maternity leave early and taking as much bed rest as possible. A few days after that appointment, my best friend's fiance passed away in a car <gasps> accident. Brian, who's the best friend. Oh my God. Brian and I have, a, have been friends since we were three. We lived in the same street growing up. He was a groomsman in my wedding and he asked me to be one for him as well. Their wedding was supposed to be this summer. Brian and I lived about an hour away from each other. Brian and I live about an hour away from each other now. So we don't see each other as often, usually only a few times a year on special occasions. But as soon as I got the news about his fiance, I immediately drove to be with him. I've been juggling helping Brian with everything I can I can, while also taking care of my wife and everything she needs. On top of all that, I'm still working full time. I've driven to Brian's house a few nights after work just to hang out with him and spend one night there la and spent one night there last weekend to help him with some things. His fiance's funeral is scheduled for next week, so I've been helping him with that as much as I can as well. A couple nights ago, I told my wife that I planned on driving down to Brian's one night this week just to hang out and keep him company. This started an argument between us because my wife feels like I am prioritizing Brian too much and neglecting her. She said that she needs me to be at home to help her because she doesn't want to go against doctor's orders and try to do too much she told me that her and the baby need to be my number one priority right now Bro. not brian i know i told her that i'm trying to juggle everything and i understand she needs my help but brian is at the lowest point in his life and i need to be there for him she told me i don't need to be there for him i'm making a choice to be there for him instead of being at home taking care of her needs i told her i'm just trying to get brian through the funeral and uh, then i will make sure i'm more attentive to things at home she told me that brian has other friends and family that can be there for him and that i'm spending too much time with him she said that the health of her and the baby should be more important to me than anything else right now, including Brian, and that she needs me at home as much as possible. I told her she was being unreasonable and that I'm not doing sorry, and I'm not going to abandon my best friend in his darkest days. She's now giving me the silent treatment unless she needs something from me. If I try to talk with her, she will make a comment about me talking to Brian. Instead, he's more important than oh, mm. instead of, wait, what? Make a comment to talking about Brian, talking to me to Brian. Okay, whatever. I Basically heard, I think she's just like, oh, well, he's more important. Yeah, than so I you're going to talk to him and not me. I understand she's stressed and hormonal and, uh, but she's never wrong this, so sorry, but she's never been this outright mean about anything. Am I wrong here? I do not think so. No. <sighs> I mean, no, I don't think so either, but it's like, I th yeah, it's just like a really bad situation. I think she's general. being honest, quite honestly, a bitch. Cause like, I understand her, like she can't probably lift things and she probably needs a lot of help around the house, but it's like, can you have someone come over? No, yeah, like have one of your friends come over Yeah, have and a friend you. or like if you have a mom around or like his mom or something, because it's like also, his best friend's fiance died. Who he also knew and was friends with. Like yeah. he is also probably grieving. Yeah. And like you, while you are not like about to go into labor any second, like obviously like, yes, bed rest, whatever, this person will never be back. Exactly. Like he has known this person probably a fuck long. A yeah, since they were three, yeah. I think he said. So no, I just like couldn't imagine. I, I do think that like, of course, like she's probably like super hormonal and emotional, um, but like uh, I could never imagine. It's like she's being like, you, you're not supposed to abandon your pregnant wife. It's not like he's out going to bars and any of those friends yeah. and like not coming home. He's literally visiting his best friend that's fiance just died. And like is trying to help him bury her. Yeah. Like, Stop again. Oh my God, it's so long. Oh, the card is full. Mm-hmm. I think that like she should just call a friend up and be like, hey, or even like he can schedule some hangs with her friends while he has yeah. to like go help his friend. I know. Just like, and then I'm thinking like, okay, if they're in a place where like they don't know anybody for some reason, it's like, yeah. then what? But it's like, or like you maybe really she just... doesn't have any friends because this is how yeah. she acts. I don't know. 
<laughs> I hate to talk ill about the pregnant. I know, me but too. this is like exceptionally. But it's like alarming. rude to be like your priority should be me and my baby, yeah. and it's like it. It's not like this, he's been doing this for months. Like yeah, and it's like <laughs> if if this was five years from now, and you guys have your five year old, and like his best friend fiance died then that would still take priority yeah. because that's how life works. Like sometimes yes. other things take priority than the things that technically should be priority. I would you know literally I mean? be like, go live with him and I'll come like, if it, literally. I would be like, Carly, you come live with me yeah. and help me and like, go take care of your friend. Yeah. I could not imagine like being that selfish when like it's, it, it, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like it's just who you want to be taking care of you and helping you as opposed to like the reality of like anyone could actually do that. Yeah. It's just like, she's like, you're just not prioritizing me. And it's like, well, obviously. Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be different if she was having tons of complications and like yes. uneasy and like, they don't know how the baby's going to come out, like all this. But it's like, it seems like the, the OBGYN said she's okay. She seems to be on bed rest, yeah. which is like. Also an interesting point she made was um, like, oh, you're not his only friend. Like he has family, he has friends. So like, couldn't the same be said for you? Hmm. You have family, you have friends. Yep. Can't they take care of you? And I'm sure he's not there every night. Like he no. lives at like two or three, he's like working. two times a night he goes there or two times a week he goes yeah. there. So like he's most likely, I'm assuming home the rest of the week. What do people say on this? Um, I'll have to like pull it up. I think they're definitely saying not the asshole. Oh, I mean, maybe don't show your pregnant wife what everyone's saying, but no. maybe print some of them out for after. <laughs> print ever after. <laughs> I mean, like, look at <laughs> Okay, am I the asshole for prioritizing my friend over my wife? Okay. You gotta like make it kind of exact when you're searching. Mm. That's just so sad. I think that she's probably just hormonal. Yeah. Did she say how far along she was? I think. Um. Sorry, there's so many prioritizing yeah, yeah. my work over my partner, prioritizing oh, my fiance no. over my pregnant sister, prioritizing work over fun, <laughs> my dog over someone else's baby. I don't know if I'll be able to find this very easily. Oh no. If anyone could find it, it would be you too. I know. Man, I suck. I can't find it. Uh, let me see if it had like a sticker on it that said not the asshole. No, it doesn't. Brats. I don't know, but I think it's, to me, it's like kind of obvious. Wait, did she say how far along she was? Oh, I thought it was like seven months. I think it is. Okay, two yes, more seven months. months. She is currently seven months pregnant. Two more months. I know. It's not like she's like going to pop any second too, you know, <laughs> and he's like an hour away. I, that but makes, so, that's sad. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's like a tough situation because. Poor uh, guy. He seems so nice. I know. He's like, I, yeah. I. He's just like a sweetie. I'd be like, you're the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sad. Yeah. Okay. Am I the asshole for inviting a clown to my wedding and putting him in the pictures? Oh my God. <laughs> a clown. Yeah, it's just like a little silly, goofy one. I, 29 female, married my hubby, 31 male, a few months ago. Neither of us were particularly interested in spending a boatload of money on a wedding no one would actually enjoy, so we were casual. <laughs> The wedding was in the party room of a pizza place we love. It's in a recently renovated 19th century factory. So it's <laughs> like cool it's a 12 year old wedding. <laughs> and decided to let our friends and family bring their army of small children because pizza. To entertain the kids, we decided to have a few carnival themed games and snacks available and this we hired a crazy. clown. Crazy, I'm sorry. Male 23 to do balloon animals. I know this clown. He is a friend of my cousin's who has good clown credentials. He was great with kids. And I know this clown. We had the bright idea to invite the clown to be in some of our wedding photos as well. Anyhow, I noticed mother-in-law, female 60s, had been kind of distant since the wedding, but I didn't realize she was pissed at us until she came to dinner last night. We got the wedding photos and picked our favorite, which is the two of us looking at each other dramatically with the clown standing next to us, <laughs> holding a big fake squeaky hammer like he was about to bonk my husband's head. We got it framed and put it up in the house. When my mother-in-law saw the photo, she lost it. She blamed me for embarrassing her and continuing to rub it in her face with the clown photos, and that I shouldn't have, and that I should have put my foot down and made sure her son had a classy wedding and not the clown show you put on. My husband told his mom to leave, but oh I'm God. honestly kind of shaken. The feedback from the other, from other family and friends, had been positive, and I've had a. What is that? Just Frank. Oh, Meow. I thought it was outside. 
And I've had a good yeah, relationship with my mother-in-law thus far. So this was a surprise. I know a lot of people say that the wedding is for the family, not the couple, which isn't something I took seriously until now. And I'm wondering if I, if I should have considered my mother-in-law's feelings more when putting together the party. So am I the asshole for my clown show wedding? I mean, no. No, I know. It's like... It's just so funny. It's such an asshole move to say anything about someone's wedding negative, I think. Unless they're like complaining about something and you're like, yeah, that was a weird totally. thing. But, totally. For, I mean, hey. obviously it's weird. I get it. Like if if I was a boomer, I'd also probably be like, what the fuck was this wedding? <laughs> yeah. But it's not okay. But like, to be like, you embarrassed me and like not... Not saying it to her son. I hate yes. moms why that are like that. Why did my son get a good wedding? Because your, your son, son is that? perfect. Why don't you ask your son that? Then? Yeah. It's what? It's, well, it has to be the wife. She obviously did something wrong. I mean, I'll be honest. When I heard it, I was like, this sounds really weird. But it's their yeah. wedding. So it's like, it doesn't Do matter what, what I want. think. If it were my friend, I would be like, what the fuck was that? You know? <laughs> it literally sounds like a 12-year-old birthday party. But I wouldn't be like ups- mad about it. I yeah. would be like, oh my God, you guys are so embarrassing. I would just be like, that's fucking weird. But- whatever do you yeah i don't think you should be like you and yeah that's so fucked up for the and you're continuing you're embarrassing to, me you're continuing to keep rubbing it in <laughs> she's like no i actually just like the picture of me and my husband <laughs> yeah, with the clown it hammer it's and it's technically like their wedding yeah, picture not cares? wedding pictures but like what reception maybe yeah <gasps> Well, the battery just died. Well, should we just wrap it up now? Wrap it up. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for listening slash watching. Sorry it died at the very end. We almost made it all the way through. Almost. Uh, we'll see you guys on Patreon later this week. Yes. Patreon.com slash OnlyFriends. Also, we have a podcast with Mike Sheffer and Matt King called Good Influences. That comes out every Tuesday. And we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.